solve uh, this calendar problems you need to know one table and this is what we start from this is the table I'm talking about if you look at this table it is uh, well constructed uh, based on month days and each of the month and day associated with a code you know, so different code values are represented here now each uh, day and each month has a specific code okay and if you look at the code you can actually remember this table quite easily if you look at the code it starts with 0 goes to 6 in the days it starts from Sunday representing 0 then Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday sequentially so it's easy to remember while if you look at the month there are some month uh, like it's not sequentially arranged so this is a part that can be tough to remember in the month it's strict to remember but rest of the part will be easy to remember but you need to remember this table to answer any questions from calendar associated problems now normally they ask questions like let's say 1985 December 14th what day so they can ask you question like that like what was the date of the week 14 December 1985 this is a question or they can ask you what was the date of the week was 24th July 2012 so these are the type of questions that we will see from this part now how to answer it now normally conventional way of answering is finding out odd numbers if you find out odd numbers you can answer these questions quite easily and the normal way but it will take some time it will take very much of time of your of your uh, uh, exam preparation so I don't want that what we need here is we want to solve this problem faster and to solve it faster you need to remember this little table here if you now remember this table rest of the things will be a lot easier how let's look at it let's begin with it now there are two types of problems that we'll see problems where it says the date or the year after 2000 and in some other part where you see the time is 1999 and before 1999 because there are two formula for solving these two type of questions if that if the year is 2000 or after 2000 there's one type of formula to use if it's a 1999 or before that there's a different formula so first look at look at the trick to solve if the year is 2000 or more the first step is to look at the year if it's 2000 or more look at the last three digits for example here it is 2012 and the last three digit was 012 it's 12 only now the thing is if this last three digit is less than 100 then you need to add 100 to it so it was 012 so 12 you add 100 because uh, 12 is less than 100 so add 100 to it so it gives us 112 this is the first thing that you should do now the second step here is once you get this value just just keep track on this value first value is 112 second what you need to do is to divide it with 4 and only need to take the fraction that's there so divide with 4 what value you are going to get 28 that's what you get this is the second value that you need so first get the last three digit if it's more than 100 then only write it if it's less than 100 add 100 and write it the second value is divide that three digit with four and you get the value whatever value you are getting now the second uh, system is then you need to find out the code for the month for example it says July 24th 2012 so let's say the month is July if you look at here the code associated with July in this table look at here July and April is coded with 6 now one thing you should look at this uh, graph clearly is that all this month has specific code but only two months January and February has different codes if the year is a leap year so if the year is not a leap year you will follow this traditional code given here but if the year is leap year and the month is January or February you need to count off this other codes provided for January and February if that is any other month you don't need to think for whether it's a leap year or not now here we are talking about July so we don't bother if the year is leap year or not although 2012 is a leap year but we don't bother because the code will remain the same 
that is 6. So think of that code, write the code down 6. This is the third value that you are getting. Now what you need to find out the date. Now the date is 24th. So we also write the value of date that is 24th. That's the fourth value we are getting. Now the fifth thing is at the end you need to add all this data together. Add up them together to find out the sum. And in this case the sum is 30 plus 28, 58 plus 260 so 170 so this is 170 that we are getting from here the added, added value now the later stage is to divide this value with 7 and find the remainder so if we divide 170 with 7 2 remains as a remainder So we get 2 remain as a remainder. So then what we need to find out? Think of that remainder value as a code and find out the associated day. So if you look at 2 as a code, 0, 1, 2, 2 as a code, you see the associated day was Tuesday. So here we can say that 24th July 2012 was Tuesday. And that's how you answer. Okay. Now if you do the same thing, for the second part that is uh, if the year is 1999 or less than that similar table same table will be there but the process only differs in the first stage in this case the first stage that you will choose is you look at the last two digits in this case last two, two digits let's say let's say the year is 1985 last two digits are 85 so you take, take down like last two digits 85 the second value that you will take is divide this last two digits with 4. Now in this case you don't need to think of adding 100 or anything like that. It's not nothing. So simply now divide 85 with 4. If you divide 85 with 4, what value you are going to get? 21 and there is some remainder. Now the thing is, in this case you should not take any remainder, only take the value that, that appropriate value. In this case which is 21 right there. And again the second stage is find out the code, code for the month. Let's say in this case the month is December, date is 25. So month December, if you take and look at the December month, where is the December? This is the December and the code is 5. So code for the month December 5. Now date, let's say 25. So 25 was the date. So let's write 25. Now what we need to do, we need to add them together. So here are 30 plus 21, 51 plus 556 plus 80, 136 that will be the total value then what you need to do is to divide it with 7 if you divide it with 7 you need to find the remainder again so dividing 136 with 7 is giving us 3 as a remainder so the remainder in this case is 3 now we take 3 as a code for the remaining date that is Wednesday so what we find here that 25th December 1985 was a Wednesday. So this is how we should solve the questions. So now as we know how to solve these questions, we will go to the next stages. Here one example of uh, such question and to solve it. For example here if we start looking at the day 31st October 1984. So as we, for the first thing that we see is that 1984 is before 1999 so we use formula number two so what we do the first thing that we want to check the last two digits and that is 84 the second value that we need is dividing the last two digits with four and that's going to give us if we divide it with uh, 21 will be our answer the third thing that we need is uh, the code for the month in this case the month is October so let's look at October associated code for October is 0 so put 0 then the date the date is 31st and let's put the date 31st so now we have everything in our hand so let's add them together gives us 52 then 56 136 we get the value of 136 then what we have we need to divide this with 7 and find the remainder 
So in this case, if we divide 136 with 7, it's going to give us the value of 1 in this case and 9. So it also gives us 3 in our hand. So the remainder here is 3. Now if you look at 3 as a remainder, 3 is associated with the day Wednesday. So 31st October of 1984 was Wednesday. That's how you form and you find out the exact day of the week by looking at uh, the month and the date from there. Okay, so that's how easy it is to solve these questions. Now let's move on to the next question. What was the day on 27th December 1985? Again, similar question. We'll follow the same rule because it's 1985, well before 1999. So the second rule, take the last two digits. So the first step, taking the last two digits and that was 85. Second step, that we divide the last two digit with uh, division here, last two digit with 4. It's going to give us the value. Let's take it here as a if you divide it here, it's going to give us again uh, 21 because the idea is, you know, it's not fully dividable with, with 4. So obviously, whatever value you're getting as a division, you'll just take it and exclude the remainder. Okay, so it's 21. The third part that uh, the code for the month that is December here, the code for December here is uh, 5. So you take it 5. Then fourth is the date, get the date that is 27th, so you write the value 27th. Now the step number 5 adding everything together 85 plus 21 plus 5 plus 27 is going to give you the value of uh, 138. So once you get the value of 138 then the step number 6 that is dividing the value with 7 to find the remainder and here the remainder we are getting is 5. So once you get remainder 5, take it as the code, find out the code 5 that is here and represents Friday. So we can say that 27th December 1985 was a Friday. So option 1 or here it's option A is the correct one. I think now you kind of understand the process. Let's do some more math. Now after 2000 it says find the day of the week on 26th January 2012. Now how to solve this one? It's the, the year is 2012 so it's beyond 2000. So we want to use rule number 1. And what was that? We will take account the last three digits. So the first thing, last three digits, that is 0, 1, 2. The second thing that we want to go up with here is simply, uh, instead of, like as this last three digits are 12, which is less than 100, we need to add 100 to it. So we're going to get 112, sorry not 0, 112. So that is uh, the first thing that we should do. Now the second thing that we want to follow here is the date and uh, the, the, the code for, for the date and dividing it with the 4. So the second part is simply divide this last three digit with 4. So what's value we are going to get it from here is simply 2 and 8. 28 we are going to get and again uh, you should not take any remainder you just exclude the remainder you get the value that is 28 the third thing you are going to get uh, the the month here the code for the month here is january and you know january is zero if it's non leap year but it's six if it's leap year now if you think this year 2012 it is a leap year so as it's a leap year Instead of taking 0, you need to take 6 as a code for January. So it will be 6. Then step 4 is the date that is 26th January. So simply write 26th. So now what we have, we have all the values. We have 112 plus 28 plus 6 plus 26. It's going to give us 
a value of uh, let me check it is giving us 172 now the step number 5 what we do we simply divide this value with 7 to find the remainder and the remainder that we are getting here is uh, 4 as a remainder so let's take 4 as a code and if we check here the code for 4 is Thursday it represents Thursday so you just say that 26th Jan 2012 was a Thursday and here's the option B says Thursday so that should be the correct option So I hope you understand this problem well right now. Uh, do the sequential stages, don't try to rush in. Uh, first try to do it sequentially, one at a time. But uh, once you solve it, enough number of problems, you'll see you can so you'll be able to solve this type of problems within 30 seconds. That fast, even before that you can solve these problems. It's pretty easy. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you.